John Storm today we're going to play with the Falcon F16 V5 pixel controller and two Falcon SRX2 smart receiver boards. So we have, there we are. So here we have the Falcon F16 V5 pixel controller. Okay, up here on top, we down here you'll see all the traditional pixel ports that you're used to. Up here, we have four long range receiver ports with red interiors, and I have two cables hooked up. So, this first cable serves ports 17 through 20. The second port handles ports 21 through 24. Yes. Okay. And so, the yellow cable goes all the way back here to this Falcon SRX2 long range receiver board. The white cable goes over to this second SRX2 board. Now these boards each have two receiver boards. So think of it as two boards on one, each of them serving four ports. So each one of these boards has eight ports, two receiver boards. And then of course I got 200 pixels hanging off of each of those ports. So um, this is a way you can kind of spread your display out and support a lot of pixels. So here we have the two SRXs and each one has its own Cat5 cable going back to the Falcon controller. So let's examine how the configuration looks on paper. So here we have our computer, which is at IP address 10.0.0.250 and it is talking via ethernet to the Falcon F16 pixel controller, which is at 10.0.0.9. So, and we're connected to one of the two ethernet ports on the F16 V5. And you'll notice these have black interiors. To the left of those, we have the receiver ports. So these long range receiver ports are connected to receiver boards. So on the first port, which is port 17 through 20, we have that going to the first SRX uh, long range receiver board. Then on the following port, port 21 to 24, we have that going to the second SRX2 long range receiver board. So here, the first board, we have the little dial selectors set to A. Yeah, we have the little selectors uh, dial set to A. And since this is really two long range receiver boards, it will consume both A and B. So all the ports off of this one will be 17A, 18A, 19A, 20A, and then 17B, 18B, 19B, and 20B. Then the second board, we also have the selector ID dial set to A. Why? Because these two aren't chained together. They're not talking to each other. So it's its own independent thing, but it's on the next set of ports. So it is 21A, 22A, 23A, 24A, and then of course 21B, 22B, 23B, 24B. That's a typo right there. B. Okay. And that'll serve us the same number of ports. So each one of those will give us eight ports. So a total of 16 ports. And then I'm also going to throw on the 16th pixel port here on the, uh, the Falcon F16 V5, we'll throw another 200. So we'll have... A lot of pixels. So let's jump over to the configuration. Where did it go? There we are. Get it a little bit better centered. Okay. So I like to start on the status page. I was on the wrong page there. So go to status. Huh. Might help if I plugged it in. Okay, we're plugged in and turned on. All right, so now we go to Output Settings, Pixel. Ideally, you would let X-Lights upload all of this for you, but I'm doing it manually, so you get to see how you would set it up manually. All right, no extra charge. So first of all, I have to basically set up these receiver boards. And you have, so here, 
I have two receiver boards on port 17 through 20. Even though it's one physical board, logically it's two receiver boards, X2. So I click on the little blue plus sign and see that port 17 through 20 turned into A's. Now if I hit it again, boom, I get the B's. So these are the two channels. Now I go to 21 to 24 and I do the same thing there for that SRX2. And I hit it again. There we go. So now we go configure it. Now remember I said I put pixels on port 16, so I'm going to put my 200 here. And then I have 200 on everything else. So since that's nice and easy, I can hit F3 and it just copies that 200 all the way through. Isn't that cool? Yeah, Keith showed us that trick at the Florida Mega Mini. People probably already knew it, but it was new for me. Okay, so that's all good. We save it. We go to test. And let's see. I'm going to do these guys. Oh, if we're fun, something different, let's do alternate. Okay, we hit enable. And blammo, we got alternate test pattern. Ah, look at all of that. Alternate test pattern being driven by two SR by two Falcon SRX twos long range receivers, each with 200 pixels on each port. Look at that. They are both connected on their own Cat5 cable back to the Falcon F16 V5, and then we have those uh, pixels hanging off of port 16 just for fun.